He staggered. That's staggering. He's dying so quickly. In your campaigns, have you never seen men who staggered before they died, who talked incoherently, walked blindly? I've seen men die drunk, and I've seen men die of the plague. There's no possibility of that here, is there? I'll send for Dr. Drossos. He'll know. And until he comes, everyone must stay on the island. We are faced with a very serious form of the plague, septicemic plague. The symptoms are wavering gait, convulsions, weakness, sometimes blindness, and then death, always death. Always death, and very quickly. The illness is highly infectious because there is a grave danger of it spreading to the army, crippling our efforts against the enemy. It has been decided that we all remain here until the disease has run its course. I have to cross over to the village. Today is market day. No one may leave the island. I must safeguard the health of my troops. I'm afraid you'll have to make an exception in my case, General. In my case and my wife's. I'm traveling on urgent business for my government. No one may leave. My dear sir, His Majesty's government. No one may leave the island. General Ferides, I respect your concern and authority, but I must leave the island. There, there are personal reasons. I'll be glad to explain my wife's plight. No one may leave the island. But you must have observed that my wife is an invalid. What about yourself, General? What about the army? It's better to have no general than one carrying the plague. The doctor will tell you what to do, and I will see that you do it. We will fight the plague. Well, if I have to be quarantined, I couldn't pick prettier company. I'm sorry. Actually, I, I wish you weren't here at all. That you were safe away. That's what I really mean. That's what I should have said. Wash all you want to. You cannot wash away evil. There is one among us who brings punishment on us all. If you'd forget about the evil spirits just long enough to pass us the towels, I'd be greatly obliged to you. <laughs> what nonsense the old woman talks. It sounds no stranger to me than some of the things you've been saying. Good winds and bad winds. I've explained that to you. The disease is transmitted by fleas. Their bodies have an 80% moisture content. The hot wind from the south literally burns them away. If the Shiroko blows, all danger will be over in 24 hours. Mm. Kira sounds just as logical to me. That the gods send the plague to punish men for harboring the Vorvalica. Vorvalica? What's that? Some old peasant superstition. An elemental. A wolf spirit, some such thing in human form. They say it drains people of their strength and vitality until they die. Kira will tell you that there's more to it, that the Vorvalico is an evil for which the gods punish us mortals. I suppose the next thing you know, she'll be telling us that the Vorvalica walks among us. <laughs> what nonsense. The doctor is the doctor, and we'll do as he says. Certainly. But one might as well go out on the cliff and build a votive fire to Hermes. Well, not that I believe in Hermes, either. You'd better believe in the doctor. He's the only one who can save us. We'll make a...